Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to Ark. Today, we're going to go ahead and continue on grabbing the artifacts that we need for the Rockwell Beta Fight. So what we're going to do, head up into the green zone and stop by and grab the artifact of the depths that's in the same cave where we find all the glow tails and stuff like that. It's already set up for zip lines and the Ravager, so we'll definitely be taking him for that. We're also going to take the Shadow Main because I want to try to grab some of the Basilisk scales on the way back. We also need to kill one more Rock Drake, so we need two of the feathers. We only have one. And then the Nameless Venom, we need 12 bottles of it. I'm going to wait until we go to start the fight to grab that. It does have a very short timer on it, and it's just no point in grabbing it too early. So, we have everything on us. Let's go ahead and equip this just in case. And like I said, we're taking the Ravager. He's pretty low on his stats and everything. He's only got 6,600 on his health, so we'll probably have to use a shotgun quite a bit in that cave, depending on what's in there. But he has a fairly decent saddle. The Megalosaurus is staying awake, so I think he's going to be fine. We shouldn't need to tame any more. However, <laughs> I still don't trust it. We're going to leave him here for the time being. And I think we are kind of set. Let's go ahead and grab our GPS because, dude, I totally forgot that we have a scanner. And we were trying to find a basilisk the other day. I, I didn't even think about trying to scan for him. So it looks like we got five of them on the map. That's up in the portal area. Somebody left me a comment to check up there, and I totally forgot about it. How they always spawn in whenever you're trying to spawn in, and it's just, oh, dude, it makes starting off here so bad. So we got two of them up there. I don't know what this area is. I think that's... That's in a blue zone where our base is. I know it's in the middle of the map. So we'll take a look and see. So let's try to stop by... Well, let's go to our other base. It's on the way. We'll stop by there, see if there's any other basilisk, and see what the coordinates are for that. We gotta go there anyways because I need to grab some of the gas balls. Totally forgot about having to repair our armor. I mean, we're doing fairly well as it is. We're not missing too much durability, but every time we're down in the red zone, you, you slowly take durability hits, you know? Kind of edge off over this way a little bit. And then we start need to start working on some of the alpha parts too. If we come across them, I'm not gonna go looking for them now, but if we find an alpha crab, and I think it's an alpha basilisk, didn't know that was a thing. I think those are two other parts we need, as well as... Yeah, we're going to have to take a trip to the surface and take out one of the Alpha Surface Reapers, I think. Grab one of the barbs. I'll have to do more research on what we need for the Alpha fight as we get to it. And the thing that sucks... Well, I didn't have my light pad on. Is... We have to get all these artifacts again. So I think for the second round, when we do Alpha, I'm going to grab them off of other maps. It's just a lot easier than... <laughs> then going back down in the red zone and dealing with it. I'll tell you what, man, these Ravagers. Oh, we almost made it. Up, buddy, up. Nice, nice. Base is just right up here. Our other base. I'll tell you what, now that I don't need it, you do the big jump. I'll tell you what, man, it's a nice view from up here. Oh, hopefully we can find that other one. Let's get our scanner out and take a look and see. All right, so, oh, there is one close by because it's showing up as his level. So, 4750. 4750. Oh, well, my glow tail keeps turning off. So, it should be down here a little bit. We're at 4650. Is that him there? It is. Ha ha! Hopefully we get a scale from him. Oh, there's a rock jig too. Cool, so that'll give us the feather that we need. Nice, nice. Okay, so there's a scale. We got it. Junior, let me talk to you for a minute. Shouldn't be up here, man. Should be down one level. All right, so let's put these into our inventory so we don't lose them. Tell you what, let's go ahead and just put them into here. I'm not worried about any of that. Nice, man. Nice. So, if we get the other two that are up at the portal, I think that's a portal. I'll have to see. Then all we need is one more. I probably won't go into the red zone. We'll probably just wait around for another one to spawn in up here. But, let's check our gas collector right here. I really need to get one set up closer to base. I mean, this one's not too bad. It's just, I don't live by this base anymore. It was perfect for that base because I just come up here, 
grab some resources. I'd always check the gas collector. It just worked out, you know? 47. Not many, but we'll take it. I don't think we need too many as it is to repair our stuff. And then I'll grab some crystals and all that from down in the red zone. It's not a big deal. Ooh, there's a very nice looking Racky. Only a 44, though. Hmm. Need to find some higher level ones for breeding and stuff. All right, I'm going to head over to kind of where the cave is. That's up near the portal, and we'll see if that is the correct coordinates. I think it is, though. Yeah, right over that way. Should be. Should be, if I remember right. <laughs> it's easy to get turned around on Aberration, man. I don't think I've ever been up the trail on this side. I did not know this leads right up to the portal, either. See, down there is our one base. You can kind of see almost our little trap right there for the crabs. I thought you could only get up to the portal from the other side over there. That's kind of neat, though. I have to remember that next time I'm on this map. Dude, I tell you what, there's a ton of raptors up here, though. Raptors, ravagers, basilisk. Oh, we're up a level, too. Oh, that's why. Okay. You can't get to it from up here. Oh, and there's one right there. Dude, nice. I'll have to see what the coordinates are for the other one. Us. <laughs> <laughs> My bad, buddy. That was a little bit of a jump, man. Okay, okay. We should be fine with the hazmat suit on. Level 20. Okay, okay, okay. I like it. Easy day so far. I'm just saying. Don't want to jinx it or anything. Probably should have kept some of that meat. Oh, there isn't another one. Dude, what happened to it? Did it despawn? Interesting. Well, we have two of them. Oh, wait. That means both of them despawned. That one that was down in the red zone. Wait. What? It's grayed out, but it's showing them here. Maybe it hasn't updated yet. There's supposed to be two right here, though. Well, let's take a look around. Maybe it's still here. I don't know, man. It's kind of buggy. It's a lot of weird stuff going on lately with Ark. And some of the mods and stuff. I don't know. It's kind of kind of got me worried. I hope we don't lose any more of our bases or any of these stuff that we have built. Because I tell you what, man. If I lose storage again, <laughs> I am not going to be happy. It'll be the last time I use any kind of mods for storing resources. I don't see any more. I think it did despawn and the transmitter just has not had time to catch up to it. I mean, that's cool. We got half of them. So that's kind of kind of more than we had yesterday, right? Two more. But, the good news is, the cave that we have to go to for the artifact is right up here. So we'll go down this little tunnel, drop off into the water, and we should be there. We'll have to change out for the Ravager. And then, it should be a smooth sailing in there. I hope we have all the zip lines already set up. It just depends on what kind of creatures are in there. It's probably going to be a lot of Raptors and Ravagers like usual. Alright, so here's our cave. Go ahead and jump off a Junior here. Put him into a Soul Trap. He'll be fine for now. Dude, I hope there's not too much in here. Oh, man, I really hope there's not. I was kind of worried about our Ravager. I haven't got any points into him, really. And he's still he's still pretty new. But the saddle on him is 105. And there's a point. Let's go ahead and put that into health, just in case. You, there you go. Well, I tell you what. Dude, is stretching forever. I mean, he has been in that soul trap the whole time, so <laughs> I can't really blame him. We're not going to really go for the loot crates and stuff if they're here. I mean, unless it's a red one. Yep, okay, okay. I do not want to get pounced off, please. Oh, I thought that was a... That was an alpha one, man, that glow. Okay. Centipede? Okay. Probably could have brought my regular flak armor in here instead of... Oh, there's another glow teal. Leave them alone, man. We're not here for those today. Yep, okay. Didn't know you guys were in here. Turn him off for a moment. Oh, we're only doing 126 on the damage. Yeah, that is... That is not going to work at all if we get into a bad spot. So it's not that one. It's over here. Oh, he's got to get a bunch of levels in here at least. Oh, dude, come on. There's a crab. Or not a crab, but a, <laughs> a scorpion. Hey, man, they all got pinchers. It's the same thing. Okay, okay. He turned around, and I didn't want him to. Oh, 
I don't remember Seekers being in here last time. I'm just saying, a shotgun and I still can't hit him. It's, it's, I know, it's a, it's a, it's a me issue, man. Yep, yep, we're both gonna die to a single Seeker. Or not. Yeah, that's always an option, too. Oh, I, I didn't fix this, either. All right, just don't fall down there. We'll be fine. It'll be fine. Yep, we're not gonna be fine. Oh, we're not gonna be fine, dude. I tell you what. I want him on passive. I don't want him to go running down and then getting killed because he's such a, a low level. Uh huh. We good? Make sure he's on passive, not passive flee. Where's the other one? Up oh, there he is. Oh, I tell you what, I can't hit anything today with a shotgun. There we go. Yeah, we're about halfway done. Oh, dude, I want to get in and out of this cave. I like it because it's very short. It's a fairly simple, straightforward cave. However, the creatures that are down in it, that's a whole other story. What's up with the lights in here? Why is it glowing so much? It's usually pretty dark in here. Looks kind of neat, though. Yep, I see you. That's the thing about Aberration, too, man. There's a lot of stuff. It's like they're sleeping until you get right up on them. Oh, and there's the artifact. Nice. So it kind of it, it catches you off guard a lot. Might walk right past something and not know it. Can we get up on the zip line, please? Thank you. So I usually go around that way to go out. I think we're gonna go back the same way we just came in, just because it's simple. Are we good? Nope. Yep. See, I tell you what. Every time I'm here, it's usually a Carno. It comes out from over there. He comes to get you. I don't know what's up with all those seekers, though. I think we'll be fine. As long as we don't fall off. And there is the artifact of the depths. So all we gotta do is backtrack. Hopefully nothing has respawned in. We should be good. We'll try to take a look whenever we get out and see if another one of the basilisk have spawned in. If it does, great. If not, I don't know. We might go ahead and just grab some of the Nameless Venom. I was not wanting to, but we'll see. We'll kind of judge it as we as we get out of here. Where are we at? I took a wrong turn somewhere. Alright, I don't want to talk about how long I got lost down there trying to figure out how to get out of that one area. I don't know. There's a, a place I was missing to try to get back up top. I kept going down by the river. I don't know. Anyways, this is the exit. And I think we are going to go ahead and get the Nameless Venom. I'll just throw it into the refrigerator. I totally forgot that that thing will hold Nameless Venom as well. Normally you can't store that in anything. But we'll go ahead and just do it right there by base. That way it's not very far to travel. Alright, you don't have anything, right? You don't. Let's crawl out of here, get out of the cave system, and we'll check for Basilisk one more time on the scanner. Dude, I tell you what, it would be nice to get the last two today if we can. Oh, now there's a ton of them. Holy crap, dude. Is there any up here? Wait, that one should be. That should be pretty close to us. Oh, there is another one up there. Okay. And there's another one. Well, let's just head back up to the portal. Let's take this mask off. There we go. Tell you what, man, it's annoying seeing that all the time. We should be able to just get up here and then jump up onto... Oh, where well, that guy is. Is that another brack here or is that a pusher? No, another pusher. Alright, so there's one of them. There's supposed to be another one in this general area. What's up, buddy? I just need a couple scales from you. And you can be on your way. Or I'll be on my way. <laughs> you won't be going very far. Cool. At least they've been low level ones too. So that's three, right? It is. Double check again. Dude, there's a ton of them now. Where were all these yesterday? I'm just saying. There's some down back by base too. Ooh, there's a lot in the red zone. Is that on the surface? 
Why are they on the surface? All right, so that is the only one that was up here. So that should be along the way. 4636, let's head over there. It's kind of on the way back. And we'll see if we can grab this last one and then grab us a couple nameless venom and we'll be good, man. Oh, dude, not too bad of a day, man. All right, so we're supposed to be finding one at 5056. Whether it's going to be here, I don't know. I've had three of them. I've gone to the location and they've despawned as soon as I got there. So I'm not sure what's going on with that. This one, I don't see a tail. I see the Titan Boa, though. Yeah, something's weird. They might be spawning under the map. Let's jump down here and take a look real quick. Might be down here by the water. No? Oh, there he is. Oh, dude, boy, I tell you what. You have no idea how hard it's been to find you guys. So, yeah, there were supposed to be a couple more up in the green zone. Got to the coordinates, and then they weren't showing up on the coordinates anymore. So that is them. Let's go ahead and I think we're in a fairly safe area. I don't know exactly where we're at. Oh, there's a lake. Okay, so base is that way. Turn this off. We'll let the nameless spawn in. And we need 12 of the venom jars. Tell you what, let's just start heading back to base. They'll spawn in between here and there, and we'll just stop and kill them off. So we're back up here by base. Dude, I have not seen any nameless spawn. I've stopped a couple times. <laughs> That's kind of weird. Oh, there's one finally. Dude, I tell you what. It's like whenever you want them to spawn, they never do. It's pretty good to let them keep spawning in for getting materials and kind of stuff from them. They drop fairly good loot. But if you let too, too many of them spawn, they'll call in that Reaper. And that is not something I want to deal with. We just need to get some nameless venom. Drop a lot of this junk here. Oh, let's go ahead and keep that. I don't know if we need those for the alpha fight. Probably should have looked. Is that it? Where's the waves of nameless that usually spawn in? Maybe I should have left the alpha one alive. I heard you. Oh, that was a ravager. Oh, there they are. There you go. Hulk out a little bit, man. Call in your friends. I mean, not the Reaper, just <laughs> just some more Nameless. Here we go. Poor little Dung Beetle Man. Casualty of War. Surprised we haven't got any Nameless Venom yet, either. That's not a red drop only, right? Like, gotta be down in the red zone. There we go. Quite a few of them now. No Venom, though, huh? Oh, there we go. There's three. Oh, dude, we need 12 of it. What's the spoil time on it? Oh, it's two hours. I thought it was like 20 or 30 minutes. Oh, it'll be fine, man. We'll throw it into the fridge, and that'll last all the way up until we do the boss fight. I think what we're going to do, I'll have to try it, is we'll set it up on the transmitter up on top of base. And I'll have to put another hatch frame to get up on top there. But we might just do that for the boss fight, because I don't want to have to go down into the red zone to Rockwell's arena. It just makes everything difficult because there's a ton of rock drakes too and whenever you come out of there you spawn back in down there but your teams kind of spawn in up at the portal it's kind of weird holy crap dude what is with all the rock drakes okay 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 yep 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 yep, yep. okay okay calm down man one at a time here Well, we have plenty of the Rock Drake Feathers, just saying. Nice, okay, that should be the last of the Venom that we need. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, nice. Let's go ahead and put that in our inventory. All the rest of that can get dropped. We'll keep those, and we'll keep those. I'll tell you what. All right, back off me now. A little bit more. I'll take it. So we get back up to base before something bad happens. It's been a fairly good day. I mean, other than running around trying to find all of the basilisk. First things first. That also we can see. Throw these into there. And how is the timer? Oh, that's good, man. It's two days for each one. We will not be here that long. <laughs> At least I hope not. So all we got left is the cave that's down in, kind of in the lake that's right there. 
it shouldn't be too bad. We'll take our scuba gear. We'll probably take the shadow main and the ravager. And that should be enough. Let's go ahead and just leave this in the... Well, yeah, we'll leave this. And there's two of them. They're pheromones. And then we've got all the rest of the scales. And that. Well, not too bad of a day. We've got the scales we need. We've got the rock drake feathers. We've got the nameless venom. Two of the artifacts. One more. And then we can go ahead and try the better version of Rockwell. Hopefully do it the first time. However, we are going to go ahead and leave this one here. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.